Welcome to Goodwill English Academy School online class. Class 8 English Supplementary Reader Chapter 1 How the Camel Got His Hump How the Camel Got His Hump is an imaginary story written by Rudyard Kipling. It is a fable about a lazy camel that would not work and simply said hump to everyone who would ask him to do some work. Vuin Hian Sanghong Se Nung Zhang Pong Anaidana Changchin Kanzirdona Hiton Tu Hi Root Yer Kiplingan Angai Ruat Natanga Apo Tua Ton Tu Ania Om Zetui Tak Nain and Tirna Chutak Ape Bok Ani The story is set in a time when the world had just begun and the animals had started working for human beings. The horse, the ox, and the dog would walk all day, but the lazy camel never listened to them. Everyone worked except the lazy camel that lived in the desert. He just ate sticks, prickles and thorns, and did not show any interest in working like others. Whenever anyone asked him to work, he would simply say hump. Kovel Chantira, Min Shui Latin, Ransa Zong, Zong Tepo, Mishing Tan, Na Anatoka, Sakor, Wile, Bong Paten, Ni Tina Mishing Tan, Na Anto Lain, Kalera Cheng, Sang Hong Sei Vetung, Ero Tsuan, Atatsiat M. Avangin, Ransa Dang Tetsu, Puin, Mishing Tan, Na Atok Vedulova, Tiang Le, Ling Lei Chi, Pang Parle Tlaite, Om Muna Eitum, Domin, Nato Ero, Angai Tu Angai Lowani, Aran sa pui dang te poin na tok tule pui tura an som lain pui tura an som poin hump tiin at sang may zela. One morning, a horse with a saddle on his back went to the camel. Here, the word saddle means a seat fastened on the back of a horse for riding. In miso, sa korzin he he kan shit tiam dan turcuan sa korcuang miten sa korcunga an suan dona sa vunat ang an siam. Leather, can ti me? An tut na na an pa ang chi kani. He asked the camel to join them in their work, but the lazy animal said, "Hump." A little later, a dog visited the camel and asked him to do some work, but again the camel replied, "Hump." Later, an ox came and asked him to work. As usual, the camel replied, "Hump" to the ox too. Tu katsu sa korcuan sang hong sei chu an na te tho puya pui turin a vasoma ma se chu sang hong sei tha che tak chuan hm ti in alau changa hm kan ti hian mi hring in thil kan ti do ne mo thil ti tur kan nei ti tul si pe lo taka hm kan ti ang hi ani anu rei lo te a chuan ui chu vokal vele in sang hong sei chu an na tho na pui tur pokin awa som vele a sang hong sei chuan angai te in alo changa anu rei lo te a chuan bong pa chu vakalin sang hong sei chu an na tho laia pui turin awa som vele a bidang te a chan dan ngai ang pokin hm ti chuan lo changin a pei lo thu alo hrila soon the man summoned the horse the ox and the dog here the word someone means order to be present. In Mizo, go or go call. He asked them about their respective work and about the camel. After hearing their complaints of the lazy camel, he told them they would have to work twice as much to make up for the camel idleness. Here the word idleness means laziness. In Mizo, om olna or tachia. Tachietna. The three animals were very angry. They met the jinn, who was in charge of the desert and told him about the camel, who would not work and only said hump. Masang musulman ton tu aram huay anvantir ko aya chung nung lau khet si thil ti tei tak mi hring te le ran sa te anga in lan trin. Example a chun kan khet thei dan tur chuan. Aladina movie a chimni a chang an tuay chua. Jini kan ti ang chikani. The jin promised to deal with the camel and went looking for him. Hun rey lo ten huwa chuan. Mishing chuan sa kor le. Bong pa le. Ui chu kawin. An na chung chang le. Sang hong se chung chang chu azota. Sang hong se chuan. Na ato ve du lo. Avangin. Ni da nga. 
antholetni anthonga ithule sanghong sein na atho velo owanga anharuakte no khatur chuan atia chu vele ran sadang te chu thinrim em emin jin chu muturin anchuakta a thil omdam le akal phungte jin anrin nu a chuan jin chuan ti dan tur longai to le lo boi pui tur chuan ran sadang te chu tiamin sanghong sei zong chuan achuakta a the jin found the camel sitting in the desert where he was busy looking at his reflection in the pond he asked the camel to go and work, but he casually said hump. Just as he said so, the jinn punished him in a huge hump bulk out of the camel's back. Here the word bulk means Lord Swak. The camel who was very proud of his look now had a strange looking hump on his back. He was astonished to see his reflection in the water and the jinn explained to the camel that he himself was responsible for his transformation again here the word astonish means makti and the word transformation means in thak danglam jinn chuan sanghong sei chu thalera chuan avamua tui keng a chuan loading in mo in ti tak mei hian a thla chu a thlir vo vo a chu ve le chuan jinn chuan sanghong sei chu na thoka a thian te pui turin ati a hong sei chuan a thian te a chan da ang bokin jin chu ham ti in a lo changa chu ve le chuan jin chuan ran sadang te bula atiam ang nge in hremin a nung zang a tang chuan thilian tak me hi a lo lor chuak te vu me a zang pong lian tak a nei pha ta a chu ve le chuan sang hong sei ma ni to ka pian moi le tra in ti em em tu ya athla thlir vo vo chu nungjanga thil pong lian taka ma wang chuan makati em em me ya chu ve le chuan jin chuan hril fi in atak sa in thlak dang lamna nungjang pong lian taka lo om chan chu ama thiam lo ni ti in a hril fi a the jin then asked the camel to work but the latter replied that he couldn't work as he had a huge hump on his back the jin stated that as the camel didn't work for 3 days previously here the word previously means masa or masazok. He could now work with his hump for three days without drinking or eating. Thus, the camel started working like other animals. This is how the camel got his hump. Jin chuan sanghong sei chu na thoka atiente pui turin atilea. Sanghong sei chuan zang pong lian taka uma vang chuan na atho thei lo thu shilin atsanga. Hun rei tak anin biak nuwa chuan sanghong sei chu thiante puya na thoktur chuan akal chuak veta jin chuan aran sapui dangten ithum chung na an tho laya engma tho velo thu chu shuya in ana tho na pui turin nithum chung te meu me tu in lo le oi lo wa na thok thei turin a nungjang pong chu asiam saka chu ta china tang chuan sanghong sei point aran sapui dangte ang bokin na a thok veta thrina ni the chapter How the Camel Got His Hump teaches us that we should not waste our time by sitting idle. Here the word idle means in an aimless or lazy way. One who is lazy and does not perform his duties or fulfill his responsibilities on time tends to suffer in the end. Kan hun nei hlu tak te mang trang ka ya eng ma ti lawa om ol mei mei lo le that se ta ka om ol mei mei lo vin kan ma in chop thil ti tur kan mo phur na te ti tur rin le rim ta kan ha thok tur rin min fu ya chu ti rual chuan ma ni na kan mo phur na threu kan ma in chop te ngai poi mo lo wa ti na chang hrelo chuan a to pa an tor pha thin thu min zir tir bok ni